welcome to the Ladies European Tour and to China for the fourth stop on the Aramco Team Series calendar. We're just over the border from Hong Kong in the bustling metropolis of Shenzhen, China's third biggest city. Known as Skyscraper City, it has a golf course that also hits the heights. The 6,500 yard par 73 World Cup course, one of 12 layouts at Mission Hills, designed by 18 time major champion Jack Nicklaus. It's the eye catching host of the Aramco Team Series, presented by PIF Shenzhen, a co sanctioned event between the LET and the CL PGA Tour. A reminder of how things work, two tournaments running side by side, with the team one wrapping up after two days and the individual one ending on the third. The teams contain three pros and an amateur, with the best two scores from each hole going down on the card. One million dollars up for grabs, split between the two events. Some of the biggest names in golf teed it up, including the highest ranked European in the world, Celine Boutier. The French woman playing her first ever Aramco Team Series event. Shi Yulin arrives as the defending champion, sealing victory in a stormy Hong Kong in 2023. Chiara Tambellini tees it up as the leading LET player this year, fresh from winning her second event of the season in France. While world number four, Ronin Yin, Alison Lee and Angel Yin were also in town in an impressive looking field. Let's have a look at some of the key teams then. Boutier had Thai players Kasuma Michai and Parkin Kawinkapon in her side, with Zhao Guang Wu as her amateur. Shi Yulin had LET veteran Liz Yang and Marta Sans Barrio, with pop star Nan Sun completing the foursome. Angel Yin picked former CLPGA number one Wenbo Liu, Tan Banabodi and amateur Marco Liu making up the four. Kiara Tambellini chose 11 time LET champ at Lian Pace with Chinese Qin Hui Lin and teenager amateur Zhang Xuan Peng completing their lineup, all trying to get their hands on not one, but two trophies this week. Onto the action then, and day one was hot and humid with hardly any wind. Chinese star Xi Yu Lin was turning it on for the home fans. The Olympic bronze medalist led from the front with the putter firing. A birdie here at 15 in a round of six under individually, while her team closed 17 under and three shots back. Celine Boutier, another going well in both events. This at the ninth. And a real touch of class from the 2023 Evian champion at the last. Chipping Eagle for a round of 66. At seven under, she had the individual lead helped her team to 18 under and just two back. That was good enough to be level with team Alison Lee, the American fresh from winning the Solheim Cup, full of confidence. The putter for the two times ATS champion, a little cold, but the approach play as always superb. On in two at the par 5 18th in a round of two under. <laughs> Team Angel Yin, another at 18 under. Much of that good scoring coming from the captain. A round of six under from a player who was unlucky to miss out on that Solheim Cup team to the USA. Been a debut season to remember for Chiara Tambellini. Two wins now to her name in the lead in both the Order of Merit and Rookie of the Year race. Swiss Miss was firing. A 69 from both her and teammate Leanne Pace, helping Tambellini's team to 19 under. One behind the leaders, Team Marta Martin. Christine Wolf and Sarah Kuskova, the fellow pros in her lineup, and it was Kuskova taking the starring role. The Czech who finished third in Spain a couple of weeks ago with a brilliant round of 67 to move into a tie for second individually. Her putter and her hat really catching the eye. The amateur in their side, Zhang Bei, also playing his part. How about this for a birdie at the eighth? In what was a real team oh! effort. <laughs> 20 under par and a narrow overnight lead. So Team Martin with the advantage, but some big name captains not far behind. Any teams within six shots would feel they would be in with a chance of catching those at the top. 
one of those top of this leaderboard. That eagle finished putting Celine Boutier in first place in the individual standings with Angel Yin and Shi Yu Lin, two of the three players, one shot back. Day two and the temperatures and humidity went up. The pressure was on as the team event came to a conclusion. Team Alessandra Finale started strongly. The Italian with Anna Polite Trevino in her lineup. Oh. This one, telling the story of her part of the 10th with the Team 27 under. Team Celine Boutier began the day just two back and kept up that momentum. Captain Boutier leading from the front, this setting her up for her fourth birdie of the day. Oh. Wow, good use of the wedge. And she was ably assisted by teammate Kasuma Michai. The tie moving six under in the individual event at the same hole. The pair of team birdies, team Boutier, 31 under par. Plenty of birdies dropping then, but not for the overnight leaders. Just two from team Martin in their opening eight holes. But when one did come at the ninth, it was worth waiting for. Oh, what a this would be. Oh. Sara Kuskova with a putt as resplendent as the headwear. Team Shi Yu Lin were right in the mix, as was Captain Janet in the individual event. This pin seeking tee shot at the 13th would lead to a birdie and put the Chinese star 11 under. The team 30 under. Also on that score, Team Angel Yin. Two Liu's in her side, and it was Wenbo Liu at the seventh doing the damage. This setting up her fourth birdie of the day, as the three-time CLPGA winner showed her talent with the irons. Team Chiara Tambellini collectively going well with their amateur, Yang Xuan Peng, impressing. Just 15 years old, but showing no signs of pressure. This birdie at 11, moving the team to 33 under. Head team finale's challenge had slowed, but this birdie from the Italian captain would put them 31 under. It would add to that, but the clubhouse lead had been set. One though that looked like it would be broken. Team Boutier though had slowed after the turn, no birdies at 12 and 13, just one at 14. This at 15 from Michai then, very much needed, now 33 under. Team Tambellini also struggling at the start of the back nine, but at 13, the captain looked to have regained some team momentum. Oh, great putt. She is a positive player, number one in Europe this year. Tambellini seven under, a team 33 under. But a big move from Team Boutier at the 16th. Parking Kawinkaporn rolling home a birdie putt at the 16th to move them to 34 under. There we go. And at the same hole, Kasuma Michai made no mistake. Team Boutier in the lead at 35 under. Yes! That looked in from about 10 foot short. Not the only team though gunning for glory. Team Angel Lin looked to be too far back, but they went on a late charge. Oh yes, come on, chase up, and there is an eagle opportunity now for Yin. Team Tambellini had failed to pick up another birdie since that one at 13, but the par 5 16th, it was the teenager to the rescue. Yeah! Paying with an net eagle to add to Lin's birdie. Now 36 yeah. under, and now in the lead. <laughs> it was between three teams now, Team Angel Yin one of those. They picked up two shots at 16 and two more at 17, thanks to a moment of magic from Bunabodi. That was absolutely yeah. textbook. Up at 18, Celine Boutier showed off her short game to set the new clubhouse target. It would be a team birdie to move to 36 under, with the French woman in a share of the individual lead at 12 under par. The 18th is a par five, 
For Team Angel Yin, this situation was simple. They needed two eagles to join Team Boutier. Funabodi gave it a go. Try. Not to be, so it was down to Team Tampolini. After firing 17, a birdie would be enough to win it at the last. Not quite on in two from the captain at the closing par five, but her third really well judged. With her teammates unable to get a birdie four, it all came down to Tampolini. And like she has done all season, she delivered. No mistake for the puck to seal a one-shot victory. The celebrations could begin for the Swiss, Lian Pace, Jin Hui Lin and Yang Xuan Pei. The Aramco Team Series, presented by PIM, yes. Shenzhen Team yeah, Champions. <laughs> oh <my Yeah>. <laughs> a single-shot victory with Team Boutier second, Team Angel Yin third, with Team Xiu Lin in fourth. What a year it's turning out to be for Chiara Tambellini. Two individual trophies to her name and now a team one. But she admitted afterwards that her birdie at 18 was a little harder to come by than first intended. When I walked to the ball and like looked at the book again, like walking towards it, I'm like, oh, maybe left would have been the better side to miss. But um, yeah, nevertheless, it was, it was a great chip. Um, and then my putter, putter behaved and I made the four footer on the last hole to, to secure it. That tournament done and dusted then, but this one far from over. Boutier and Shi Yu Lin tied at the top with Wenbo Liu, three shots back, and plenty of talent at eight under, including the informed Pauline Roussan Bouchard. Stay with us to see if Shi Yu Lin could win on home soil, or if Boutier could bring the trophy to Europe. Plenty of twists to come. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back to China for the final round of the Aramco Team Series presented by PIF Shenzhen at Mission Hills, where the individual event has still to conclude. Shi Yulin with two 67s in a row at 12 under par. She was tied at the top with a major winner, Celine Boutier, the French woman looking to go one better after finishing runner-up in the team event. A reminder of how things stand, Boutier and Lin with a three-shot lead over Wenbo Liu, with five players locked at eight under, including team champion Chiara Tambellini, who would get their hands on the second trophy of the week. The weather was, what else, steamy and humid, almost no breeze. And Shi Yu Lin came out hot. The Chinese star had the big galleries following her and she got them roaring at the first. Not just a flat stick that was working well. At the second, she nailed her approach. It would lead to her second birdie in as many holes to move to 14 under. But Celine Boutier would match her at the same hole. A brilliant approach of her own to ensure she remained within one. But Lin was dialed in. Yet another wonderful approach shot at the par four third for eight kick in birdie. Three straight birdies and a two shot lead. But back would come Boutier. She birdied the fifth and then picked up her third birdie today at the seventh. She and Lin had birdied the sixth hour, so she remained on back. Sam Bouchard loves a final day charge and she was at it again in Shenzhen. Eight holes and four birdies to move to 12 under, in with an outside chance. But the two at the top were also finding birdies easy to come by. Boutier drawing level with Shi Yu Lin with this at the eighth. Four birdies and this. They're not together. It's 16 under. The other member of the final three ball, Wenbi Liu, with three unanswered birdies, but no let up from the top two. I'm Richard Kaufman, alongside me is former LET player Sophie Walker. And Sophie, it's been a bit of a birdie feast so far. Yeah, it's exactly what we wanted for this 
final Sunday. The ninth hole, you wouldn't really say it's a birdie opportunity, though. It's the hardest hole on the golf course. 192 yards left here for Celine Boutier. Plays about 200 as it's uphill, so this is one of her hybrids. Celine Boutier 2023. I do believe having beaten Lexi Thompson in the Solheim Cup, that comeback has really sparked something with Boutier. This is a tough lie for Janet, ball way above her feet, gripping down on a hybrid from 183. Oh! Oh, absolutely wonderful. As you said, this is not really a hole you're looking to birdie, but these two. They're just going birdie mad right now. I can't tell you how good a shot that was. It was so easy to hit him left. Sam Bouchard, another who's been amongst those birdies on the front nine. Here she is at 10. A back left pin with wedge. Found, obviously. It's Sunday, it's a charge. It's Pauline Roussan Bouchard, it's what she does. Yeah, we've seen it in Ireland. We saw it a couple of weeks ago at La Sea Open in Spain. Just the seventh place finish for her last week on home soil. This is the lady that won it, the French Open. This is her fourth on the 11th. Three par fives on the back nine here. Three on today, Tambellini, the winning team captain. This is incredibly slow put from right to left. out in 31. She trailed by two early on in this final round. She's now ahead for the first time. Well, three birdies in a row will do the trick for you. Remember, Shi Yu Lin is in tight as well. Just keep this one on the left edge. That's incredible, isn't it? Boutier makes the three, Lin doesn't. Boutier's made those three birdies in a row and Janet's made three pars. Roussan Bouchard then for birdie number five in ten holes. What an incredible run she's on. She's got the crazy back. But given what Boutier's doing, she's not really making any inroads. Another player in form, Virginia Elena Carter. 152 yard par three, eight iron to here. Yeah, nicely done. That's the club that's making a difference to the, the good run we're seeing right now. That was her fourth birdie of the day at the par three. Into the back nine. Boutier's hit a good tee shot, first to play like she so often is from 142 yards, a nine iron. Just try and keep it short of this back left flag. opportunity coming up for the French player. Big crowds out there, Shi Yulin's parents amongst them. Bit of a flyer lie here, 126 yards, pitching wedge. See that go up high off the face, so it popped and took a bit of yardage off it. One in Hong Kong last year, one twice in China on the Ladies' European Tour on the LET. You play with her, Janet is all the players call her, is that right? That's right, I played with her when she was 16 and 17 years old when she first came on the Ladies' European Tour and has progressed nicely. Whereas this player just came out and has dominated. Only 20 events on the Ladies' European Tour and at the top of the order of merit. Janet, it took her a little bit more time to get going, last few years has been exceptional for the Chinese player. Well, Boutier's got a similar length putt. Lindo to go first. Downhill, especially within three feet. Mm, look at it go past. That is a long way by. 
Just looked like she pulled that one, didn't she? Did a few more rolls onto it. It all runs back to this back left portion of the 10th green. So Boutier will have learnt from that. Just to stretch the lead at the top to two. I suppose maybe after seeing Lynn's putt, a little cautious. That's a terrific up and down. Yeah, a couple of good up and downs in a row for Tambellini. Now inside the top 100 in the world. <laughs> He's taken a 20 event, I can't believe it. The one back, stay one back. Sent in with authority there. So two pars for Boutier and Shi Yu Lin. They're enjoying themselves. Big crowds. Birdies galore. He is part of the uh, winning team, Team Tambellini, Li Lian Pace. Been a quiet Sunday so far. One birdie, one bogey. Nearly a one there on 13. Yeah, three wins in China. She's had two on the LET, one on the LPGA Tour. Over to 11. Laid up here, 83 yards. Oh, so unlucky. Well, she's certainly got her eye in, hasn't she? Yeah, she doesn't often show much in terms of emotion, but you can see the frustration for her there. This is an awful angle. 43 yards, the minimum requirement is about 37 to carry that flag. Well, she landed it in the perfect spot. She dared to flirt with the bunker. Tapping birdie for Janet. Start of the day, tied. Lynn went two ahead. Boutier now ahead. Is Lynn about to catch her again? Tambellini playing alongside Leanne Pace like she did for the first two days in the team. Pace is going to make it too. What about Tambellini? <laughs> of course she does. 12 under par now. It feels like it's between the top two, but others are trying to get there, like Roussanne Bouchard and Tambellini. From right to left, slow put for Boutier. Oh, a good look, didn't it? Both she and Lynn have had a quiet 2024, really, both outside the top 40 on the LPGA rankings. Both were inside the top 10 last year. So remains four back. Yeah, it's hot out there. Temperature soaring. The birdies keep dropping. Another fill in, surely. No! Ties it up again. Well, this is fun. We've got two players ranked inside the top 20 of the world rankings, putting on a show in Shenzhen. Boutier and Lin, 17 under, and four clear of the rest. To the Aramco team series presented by PIF Shenzhen, where Celine Boutier and Xi Lin have separated themselves from the chasing pack on the World Cup course at Mission Hills. They're now at the 12th. This dog leg from left to right, perfectly positioned in the middle of the fairway, pitching wedge here for Boutier. 134 yards back right pin. It's another stunner. She is right on song. Just one top ten this year. And that was back in February in Singapore.
even longer drive for Shi Yu Lin. This also a pitching wedge from 121 yards, setting up for a cut. Ideal number for her. Birdie chances coming up again for the top two. That's what the crowd want to see, isn't it? Very different weather, isn't it, to when she won in Hong Kong a year ago when we had to deal with Typhoon Koinu. Second shot for Tambolini plays up the hill. Keep it left of this flag. Stunning. So impressive, isn't it? Given, you know, a week ago she was winning in France, here we are, completely different continent. She's at it again. Yeah, and 18 months ago, she wasn't even a professional golfer. It's just been an incredible rise. Inside left here for Janet, for Birdie. Big missed opportunity. Boutier will have the chance to edge ahead again in a moment. He must have turned the face on that one a little bit left because Boutier's put is certainly left to right as well. She's got a new putter in the bag this week. Yeah, the putting's been a big problem this year, as is a chip in. She's lost a whole shot per round in that area. But it's working nicely this week for her. And Celine Boutier moves one in front again. Six pass, six birdies, normally will do the trick. So the gorgeous approach in. This one downhill right to left for a three. She's got another. No one's made more birdies or eagles this season on the early tee than Tambadini, but even though she's made a bunch today, she's still five back. Onto the par three, 13th hole, 152 yards, plays a couple of yards down the hill. That famous curtailed follow through, but this one's leaking to the right for Boutier. Bounce. Great result. Let's see what Shi Yu Lin's got then in response to that tee shot from the French player. Eight iron just down the left hand side here. these soft greens you just have to fly it all the way we saw Tambolini birdied that 13th hole here she is on the par 3 15th eight iron back pin can she make herself get it back there it's pretty good only have one bogey this week and that came on her fourth hole on day one back to 14 with Roussan Bouchard we're lucky to have these two 24-year-olds, aren't we? Tambolini, Pauline, second into 14. Yeah, and it seems like the more the season's gone on, the better the golf has got from them. So you'd say two decent chances for Birdie here at 13. This one should come back at the end. Oh, try. Crowd are willing her on. We've got Celine Boutier in a group with two Chinese players. Just edging this one from right to left for a three. Yep. Her final rounds in the past month 65, 65, 67. What yeah. does she have for us today? Well, I think something similar, really. Maybe better. So, no birdie for Lynn. Through the channel here, Boutier. And from right to left at the end. She's now expecting to hold pot. She mentioned that change of pot and the confidence has changed for Boutier. 
15th and she got another yeah she has a second two of the back nine enjoying playing with tambourine i think this week leanne pace final hole of the day for morgan metro going for it into this par five needs to carry the front bunker Now that is how you finish a golf tournament. She has that left for eagle. Yeah, it won't seem any closer than that from one of uh, the ADT's champions this year, Tambellini. Looking to follow pace in. This for three birdies in a row. No issue. Hole halved in two. She joins Pauline Roussan Bouchard at 14 under. Are they, are they in it still in terms of winning? With the calibre at the top of the leaderboard, I think not. For the Eagle, for Metro. Oh, that's a shame. Have to settle for a birdie and a round of 71. Well, two of the top four on the NET rankings, trying to keep up with two in the top 20 of the world rankings. Celine Boutier with a slight edge in Shenzhen. stages of the Aramco team series in Shenzhen. Another birdie for Tambellini, who's up to 15 under, third on her own. Three behind the leader, Celine Boutier. The final group now at 15. Going with eight iron here to a back pin. Oh, she got in front of that one. That's way right. Green she's missed today. We've seen a few right shots on this back nine. And that one there was a big miss. Every birdie, every eagle on 16 has contributed to mammograms as part of breast cancer awareness. One of the initiatives this week. That's why many of the players are wearing pink as well. Oh, brilliant goal shot. A long iron in there from outside 200 yards. Cuts one in. Not going to get up the slope. Well, the ball was plugged, so she got a free drop, and has not really made the most of that. So problems for Shi Yu Lin. There hasn't been a drop shot in the final group in this final round. Chance for Pauline Roussan Bouchard to really jump up close to the top. Oh. Could be in this now. 16 under. It's got within two. Another Sunday, another Roussan Bouchard charge. Well, Pauline is two shots back from her fellow French player here, but you'd expect, having seen Janet come up short, she's just going to cosy this one down. If it goes in, that's a bonus. Exactly what she's done. Nicely played from Boutier. Still got the two par fives to come, 16 and 18. Five in a row. Can you hit this one hard enough? Yeah. You won't be the first, Kiara. Playing there with Emily Pedersen, who's had a quiet day after what was a, a good start to the final round. Just birdied 14. Wembo Yu in this final group is making some birdies when her playing partners aren't. Yeah, she's up to 14 under now. Once upon a time, the rising star of Chinese golf. Thumbs up from the crowd. A lengthy par save now. You're oh. Lip out. That's her first bogey in 21 holes. And it means she's now tied for second with Roussan Bouchard. And two behind the leader, 
Celine Boutier. Only three more holes to play. Assuming Celine knocks this one in. She hasn't made a bogey all weekend, so if this one goes in... Well, she needs an eagle on 16, doesn't she, Shi Yu Lin? Because I can't see Boutier going backwards now. Final hole of the week for Tambellini. Reachable, par 5, 18th. Sending this hybrid high into the sky, trying to cover that front bunker. Oh, that is outstanding. She only knows attacking golf. Came up short with the approach, Roussan Bouchard. Giving it a thump, but that's still not going to get there. Put herself in a position, hasn't she? Alongside Shi Yu Lin at 16 under. Trouble off the tee into the bunker on the right hand side has now left herself 146 yards in. And still not hit the green. Boutier is just short in two. Yeah, it's all gone a little awry. Been having the rights as the defending champion. Final hole for Leanne Pace. She birded 16, parred 17. And I think we can give her that on 18 for a birdie. What a great week she's had. I mentioned she took this one on from 220 yards to the front edge and has left it in the perfect spot. A basic chip and run. Oh, she's jammed it. That was rather unexpected. Maybe gives some hope to others. Such a commanding position. Well, this is makeable. Just has to change the mentality here. Forget about the poor couple of swings and try and chip this one in. <laughs> Proud, so invested in her winning. It's her first time playing in China since she won the uh, Olympic bronze medal. She's got it with her. Necklace. This would be a nice eagle to finish for Tambolini in the low round of the week. It's quick. So close. What another brilliant week, and it looks like she's going to stretch her lead at the top of the ladies' European tour rankings. Nervous over the chip, but can make up for it with this pot. Well, that's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? All three players in this final group, and we're not going to see a birdie between them on a hole which has been giving up so many birdies. Boutier will feel like she's done the hard bit as well, getting greenside nearly in two. But thankfully, Shi Yu Lin was struggling on this hole, so this is for par. She's made birdie at every single par five today. But not here on 16, right when she needed it. Yeah, it means she remains two back, like Roussanne Bouchard. Mm. Oh, that has come from nowhere. Birdies galore and suddenly a drop shot. All the chances. Tambellini tidying up for her birdie. This for five birdies in her last six holes. And the clubhouse target of 16 under par. It's not going to be enough, but another good week from the Swiss. A lot better tee shot from Janet, finding the heart of this fairway. Nine iron, playing 130. Needs to get it all the way back to that pin. So many before, just can't. Get it over that ridge, a slow put to come, but thankfully it didn't spin down the hill like Pauline Roussan Bouchard's did. Same type of shot required here from Boutier, from four yards closer. Wedge. Okay, safe enough. She has that two shot cushion just over Shi Lid now with that 
drop shot from Roussan Bouchard. The French player here at 18, got to make eagle. Needs the same type of shot that she hit into 16. This also four iron. There's an opportunity. Three pot on 17. There's still time to, to make up for it. Imagine two eagles to finish and a three pot. Birdies have dried up a little bit for Shi Yulin. She struggled with the last four or five holes. not making a putt, maybe making a mess of 18. For a while in this final round, she looked like the one to beat. Yeah, she's just lost the pace of the greens, then she's now fighting a golf swing, all in the back nine when you're trying to take down Celine Boutier. This one from right to left, very, very slow. Oh, it was a wishful stroke, very short on the way back and long on the way through. Similar length putt to the one we've uh, just seen Roussan Bouchard miss. Here is uh, compatriot up on 18. This for a 64. So much swing from right to left. Never judged it quite right, but it's been a brilliant five weeks, hasn't it, starting in Ireland? Just can't help shoot in the 60s on these Sundays. Now crucial put here for Boutier on 17. Yeah, nicely done, confidently done. <laughs> One hole left to play to be a champion in 2024 for the first time. Couldn't stop making birdies on the front nine, just the one on the back nine. Going to come up shy again this week, but it's her fourth top ten in a row. Yeah, keeps climbing the rankings uh, through Sam Bouchard. Keeps smiling. No wonder when you're shooting the low numbers like she is. Well, Celine Boutier has uh, laid up here at 18. Then, as you imagine, given the circumstances, given a bash. Needs to get all of this three wood. 229 yards. Oh, she's flushed it. Sit down. It's one of the best swings she's had all day. I'm lucky to run through. That's going to be quick from there. Well, there's still hope. UTA could extinguish it here, though. She's laid up to her favourite yardage, yardage, 78 yards, full lob wedge. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what she needed. It means Lynn's going to have to chip in. Boutier would have to miss that putt to stretch this one further. Huge crowds enjoying what's been a, an enthralling day. Is there another? moment of drama to come just needs to get this one started it's so quick needs a bit of luck with the first bounce dropping it down the slide the crowd willing it to go in a bad shot but the effort just wasn't wasn't scaring the hole was it well Boutier is going to putt first here try and get it job done here and now First Aramco Team Series start and victory on the LET again for Celine Boutier where it all began for her in China seven years ago. It was some hard work on that back nine but a closing birdie, hopefully one here for Xi Yulin as well. Yeah, the defending champion of this event, born in Hong Kong and a birdie on the final hole, a round of 68 for Xi Yulin. Yeah, I have to settle for second place. And when 
Bo Liu, hopefully with the last shot of the week. And that's good enough for fifth place, a closing 69. But it's about Celine Boutier. It's been a tricky 2024, but I think the champagne's about to come out. She's French. Let's get the bubbles out. Let's start celebrating. She's in Asia for four weeks, looking to finish 2024 in style. A great win and a significant one for Boutier. She's back. Yeah, two-shot victory in the end for Celine Boutier. Plenty of home representation in the top ten with Ronin Yin in ninth. But it's another major champion who's taken the trophy in Shenzhen. A return to the winning circle for Celine Boutier. Her first win on the Ladies European Tour came in China back in 2017. And the latest one too. It started really hot with uh, Janet, so it was really hard, uh, fun to be able to battle it out. And yeah, very happy with my round. Obviously, um, <laughs> wish a few putts dropped, but no, I think I was honestly super happy with the way I handled the day. Cypher third here, Chiara Tambellini has one hand on the Order of Merit trophy. Roussan Bouchard moves up to third, but Tambellini has stretched the lead to 650 points with just four events remaining. The Swiss on course to win these rankings as well. Shannon Tan almost a thousand points behind Tambellini, despite picking up a win herself in her rookie season. Not to be for world number four Ronin Yin here this week, perhaps understandable after playing so little golf in the last four months. Celine Boutier now on the verge of returning to the top ten. Well, thanks for watching as brilliant Boutier went on a successful mission in the hills of southern China. Next up, the tour heads to Chinese Taipei for the Wistron Ladies Open. Stay in touch at ladieseuropeantour.com. Until next time.